While most students get the idea between uh, dominance and recessive alleles, what often throws them for a curve is the difference between codominance and incomplete dominance. So let's take a closer look at those. So these are exceptions to the whole idea about complete dominance, where one allele will completely overwhelm or not allow the other allele's effects to be shown. In this case, rather than the heterozygous individuals looking like the homozygous dominance, here the heterozygote, a hybrid between two types of uh, beings, does not look anything like the true bred ones, the homozygotes. So what's the difference between codominance and incomplete dominance? It's how they do this um, effect. With codominance, you will see both alleles showing their effects but not blending. Whereas with incomplete dominance, you see both alleles effects, but they've been blended. Now that distinction sometimes is hard to figure out, so let me give you a couple of concrete examples. So the standard example of codominance is what's known as a roan cow. There are kinds of cows that are white. There are kinds of cows that are red. Now a red cow has big R, big R for the hair color allele. The white cow has big W, big W for the hair color allele. Now you may be thinking, hey, I only use the capitals for the dominant. Why, are, why am I using two different capitals and two different letters? You're supposed to use all the same letter. And that's because both of these are dominant alleles. So what will happen is if you have an offspring between a red and a white cow, you'll get a colored cow called roan. What happens is that you'll see white hairs and red hairs. So you're seeing the effects of the white cow's hair allele and the red cow's hair allele. But you're not seeing pink hairs. That would be blending. And that's what incomplete dominance looks like. The standard example of incomplete dominance is a kind of flower called a snapdragon. With snapdragons, you can have red, white, or pink flowers. And it turns out the pink ones are blends between the red and the white alleles. So if you have big R, big R, you will be a red flower. If you're big W, big W, you'll be a white flower. If you're big R and W, you'll be pink. Not little bits of red and little bits of white. If you get in close and look at the flower up close, it's pink, it's pink, it's pink. They've blended. So that's the big difference between codominance, they show both effects, no blending, incomplete dominance, it's all blended.